All right, guys, it's the time you've all been waiting for. Section 6.2, Properties of Parallelograms. Here's your objective. You will be able to use relationships between opposite sides and between opposite angles of parallelograms. How's that sound? Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I hit it twice. Here's our preview, how our lesson's going to go. We're going to have our warm-up here coming after this slide. Uh, we're going to have our activity, and then we're going to talk about Theorem 6-1, we'll do some problems on that. Theorem 6-2, and then we're going to do a little closure piece. How's that? Excellent. Oh, your reaction's great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, we're going to have to... Here we go. There's our warm up. So on your piece of paper right there, what we're going to have to have you do is I want you to write the definition of parallelogram. Okay, that's from last time. Think about the hierarchy of quadrilaterals. Okay, and then I'm going to want you to solve for x right here on this equation and solve for y on this equation. It's going to warm us up and give us a look at some of the prior knowledge we're going to be using today during our lesson. That's nice, that's good. That looks good right there. Mm -hmm. Now for this, is it one no, pair? pair? Oh, no. It's yeah, but two is a yeah, pair. Two. Let me see yours. How does it look? I think I did some of the subtraction wrong. No. I don't think so. That looks nice. I like your picture right here, my friend. Thank you. That's a smile. One face. tooth is awesome. Yeah. Two pairs of Good. Looking good, guys. Looking good. All right. A couple more. Probably 20 more seconds is what we'll need for this right here. Okay. Definition of parallelogram. Who can tell me what that is? Raise their hand and tell me what that is. Definition of parallelogram. Marty. Quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel opposite sides. Okay, quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel opposite sides. Who had that? Raise your hand if you had that. Did you have that? Okay, yes, all right. Sounds good, okay. Who is ready to come up and solve number two for us on the board? Do you want to do that? Yes. Sam, I am right here. Let's see what you have. And let's see if, if we agree with Sam. We ex kind of explain it for the class for us. Uh, what I did was I uh, got so 5x was by itself, so I subtracted 10, put it to the 100, and so it was 5x is equal to uh, 2x plus 90. I arrived at 2x, 
by making it into a 3x is equal to 90. Divide both sides by 3, and therefore x is equal to 30. Looks glorious. How many people had that? Raise your hands if you disagree with that. Everyone agrees. Sounds great. That's awesome. Excellent. What, no applause? Woo! Sad. You know, you go up and then it's like... All right, who thinks they can get number three? Yeah, Mariah, you want to take it? All right. Awesome. All right, can you go through it, kind of what you did? Okay, so I subtracted 15 from both sides of the equation, and then I got 2y equals 6, and then I divided that in half, and I got 1 plus 3. Looks good. Who, di who agrees with this? Let's do that. Who agrees with this? Who disagrees? Okay, good, yeah. When I was walking around, everyone looked like they were on, on track with that. Okay. Questions so far on any of the three warm-up things that we did? Anybody have questions on this? Are you all set? You ready to go? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Now, before we head on to talking about our theorems, we do have an activity. Okay? So what's going to happen is we have our pairs. People on the left, okay, people on the left, what you're going to do is go back to the table, take one sheet of construction paper, and get a pair of scissors. Come back to your seat. And then we'll talk about what you're going to do with that. Ready? Go. <laughs> it's unusually quiet in here today. I don't know. Oh, because the people are not here. Yeah, yeah that must be it. All right, everyone have their materials. You ready to go? Here's what you're going to do. You are going to, based upon the definition of parallelogram, which you should have down, okay, based on your prior knowledge, I want you to cut what you think a parallelogram look, looks like out of your construction paper. Okay? Now, after you do that, you're going to do two things. I want you to make two conjectures. Okay, you guys are familiar with conjectures. Okay, make two conjectures, one about the opposite sides and one about the opposite angles. And your conjecture can't be something that you already know, like the definition of the parallelogram where you have uh, opposite sides parallel. It has to be something new. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Discuss it with your partner as you go through this. I'm terrible with scissors, but I will try. No, all right. Here you go. Now make yours look. Is this okay? Maybe you want to do it a little bit bigger. You have the whole sheet. Yes, sir. You know, on little baby ones. I know, but let's do that sheet angle. Yeah, but I think I think Nate's on the right. I think Nate's on the right. Oh, oh man, that's cheap. You don't want to do that. It's just too easy. That looks nice. Right? Okay, but what kind of conjecture could we? You're welcome. What do you guys think? Rhombus. Rhombus. Let's see. Is this okay? Let me make about this. I know they're both. I don't know. What do you think? I think this looks all right. Well, you have a bunch here. You can take your pick. I want the big so, one. Yeah, these two. Do you like the, the biggest one? The best? Mm -hmm. All right, no, make it. Try and make your conjectures about the size and the yeah, to make it conjecture. Now, as you do your conjectures, you might want to jot those down. You might want to jot down your conjectures so you can refer to them later, at a later date, or even in the lesson. There I go, chopping um, scissors. Triangle. Oh, look at yours. 
got equal sides. Okay. Okay, so that's a square. It's the opposite size. It's fantastic. To show that there was salmon going to do these little fantastic. things. What's happening? It's not a good thing. Fantastic. 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 Well, let's look at opposites. Ah. Yeah, I think those are congruent. You think so? <laughs> oh, you wrote it on the thing. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice. I like that. There's this giant. Are you going to write your, oh, yeah. your conjectures on it? <laughs> totally. I'll steal their idea. That works. <laughs> Did you guys write your conjectures down? Are you going to write it on it? Or are you going to write it on your own paper? Now make sure you're discussing it between each other. No. Yes. No. Too late. Well, Did you guys? What do you guys come up with? We came up with. That. You guys come up with a, a dog. What is that? A dog? No. <laughs> it's a parallelogram with fossils. Um, it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? His name is Hugh. His name is Hugh. Hugh. Wow. Something wrong. Wait. No. It won't be. So you guys wrote yours into your notes? Mm -hmm. So we'll just write. You want to leave the, the parallelograms pristine? All right, guys, you have another, I would say about 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> about 60 seconds to end this, and we'll see where we're at. We'll check in, as it were. Before we move on. For other surprises. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Thank you. All right, 25 more seconds. Count it out in your head. All right. Now, let's see what we have here. This is some people who haven't gone yet. What conjectures did you make about opposite sides of your parallelogram, your own, your very own parallelogram? Hmm, what are you thinking? Nate, what do you think? They are congruent. What is? The opposite sides are congruent. Okay. Opposite sides. Now, both pairs of opposite sides? Yes, both pairs. So your conjecture is both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. OK. Oh. Great. Sam, you have something to add to that? Uh, yes, we uh, determined that both angles, like the opposite angles, are congruent to each other. All right, great. So your other conjecture, opposite angles are congruent. Okay. Great. Now, yeah. take these home. These make great gifts uh, for your parents. Talk about this at the dinner table. Or sometimes, you know what you can do? Some people out there are geometry challenged. So we have some people sometimes go on the Alex bus that runs around here and just, you know what, tell them, hey, this is, this is a parallelogram and these are my conjectures. Okay, see what they say. I'm sure they will thank you for enlightening them. Do you put the scissors back? Um, yeah. Go ahead and put the scissors back, guys. No, you know what, keep that. Okay. Let's keep that. You can put your scissors back. Can I put this back to Oh, the extra? Yeah. Here, we take this too? Oh, yeah. You all right? Are you okay? Yeah. Let's recycle. Isn't it? All right, guys. What we're about to do right now. What you're about to see is going to be beautiful. Are you ready? Yes, Some people sir. weep. Some people actually weep. So I want you to be prepared. Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. I know. Look at that. Theorem 6 1. And check this out. Boom. It says if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides will be congruent. You guys figured that out. You guys looked at your own parallelograms and figured that out. How do you feel about that? Excellent. <laughs> I, feel, I feel good for you. Hugh now has value. He does have value. Huh? 
Think about that. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides will be congruent. Let me draw one just so you're, just so you understand the gravity of the situation here. Okay. If we say that this ABCD is a parallelogram, look, opposite sides congruent. And you came up with that on your own. Okay. Are you proud? Yes. All right. Well, how can we use this? Well, let me show you. What I will do now is I will model a problem for you that you might see out there in the world. Yeah. All right. So, in order for this to work, they would have to declare this to you. Okay, we have a parallelogram that is PQRS. All right. If we know that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram, my thinking goes like this. I see this and I say, all right, well, Theorem 6.1 taught me that the opposite sides are going to be congruent. So I will know that this side and this side are congruent, okay? Which are the ones that have the expressions on it, okay? Now, if I know that those two sides are congruent, then I know that I can take those expressions and set them equal to each other, right? We've done problems like that before. So a little bit of prior knowledge coming back at you. And look what I just did. Look at that. Okay. What we did is we set up our, our equation here. Okay. And if I wanted to solve for x, what would we do next? Well, we would subtract 2x from both sides. Okay. And this kind of takes you back to our warm-ups. We did this in our warm-ups. Okay. So we add 15 to both sides right here. Okay, these cancel. So we're left with x equals 18. I want to ask this of you. Okay, we have our variable. What if we wanted to find the side length for that? Yeah, Jerry, what do you think? You just uh, plug in x. Yeah, we're just going to plug in x. Does it matter this one or this one? No. No, because they're both what? They're both congruent. Yeah, they're both congruent, so they're going to be the same. All right, so I plug in right here, and then what will we get? We get 2 times 18 plus 3, so was that 36? 39. Oh, actually, you yeah, the 3. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Okay, so we have 36 plus 3 is, in fact, so our answer is 39. Great, so we get the side. Okay, questions on that, guys? No. Nobody? No one has a question. All right, well, it's your turn. Are you ready? Sure. All right. Ready. So, as pairs, you will be doing a problem similar to the one that I did. Okay, are you ready for that? Okay, I want you to really think aloud. And what I mean, think aloud, share your thoughts on how to do this with your partner. Okay, and we're going to want you to find x right here. Find that x. X marks the spot, right? Okay, talk it out. I'll come around and make sure you're on the right track. Yeah. 7x minus 1 equals 6x plus 2. Do we try to solve that? Yeah. So now x equals 3. How's it going? It's very important. It's up to the x. 7x minus 1. Yeah. Yep, three. Great. If you, if you subtract six x from both sides, you can be left with an x. So you take like seven x. That's going to actually cancel. So you're going to be left with that. How's it going? Which one is the one? What was that in? 
That's what I thought, Travis. <laughs> it looks right. It is time to sleep, my friend. How it goes? Are you guys helping each other out? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. What do we have here? Oh, you plugged it back in. I see what you did there. So X is in 20. X is 3. And then the side length is 20. I got you. I got you. That's so what you're doing. Awesome. Lag versus you're jumping ahead. Oh, look at this. You guys plugged in. Oh, Look at this. It's 3 to 9. So don't be this tight. No. Just press. That's so funny. I don't think that happened. Oh, we're not supposed to do that. What? Plug it in. No, you can. Hey. You can, man. It's your problem. I don't want to stifle your creativity. It's not? Well, you know what's going above and beyond what you're asked to do, okay? All right, so, went around the room, everyone seemed to be on the right track. Doesn't come back. Stop me if you find anything weird about what I'm writing on the board right here. So, kind of followed what I said and set the two expressions equal to each other, right? Any problems with that so far? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Do a little algebra here, you know. Experts of algebra that you are. Okay. And then our x equals 3. Some people even went beyond that and plugged it in and found the side length. Right here. The most best dressed students right now at school. Those guys right here. Looking good. I follow them. All right, plug them in. You followed the rules. Good. Mm -hmm. Good for you. you. Uh, six times three. What was that 18? Yeah, plus two is 20. Plus two equals 20. 20. Okay. So you guys ready for the surprise? Sure. Is this a surprise? Oh, yeah. Put all the time into this. Of course there's a surprise. Think about it, guys. Hmm. <laughs> this problem. So think about a problem, okay? Now this really hits home, especially to where we live in Ahwatukee here. While walking through the mean streets of Ahwatukee, you've come across the parallelogram, which looks like it could be the home of the infamous Tukey Troll. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Schneider. Yes. If you want to spell uh, Tukey, you need two E's. Ahwatukee has two E's, I think. Not the way I spell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> in order to help the proper authorities, you found this. Just walk out, I don't know, in a, a vacant field or whatever. In order to help the proper authorities, you must give them the perimeter of the parallelogram. Your mission, now check this out, your mission is to find that perimeter in feet, of course. Okay, so you're going to have to take a look at this. Use the skills that you just honed doing these problems, and you're going to have to find that perimeter. Okay, so talk it out with your partner. Okay, perimeter should be something that's prior knowledge to you. Make sure your partner knows what perimeter is, how to find that. I don't want to give away too much. It'll ruin the surprise. Ethan makes an appearance in the next one. He does? Okay. Oh, absolutely. You know, it wouldn't be a word problem without Ethan. True. No, no. that's okay. Not with the same I get the same answer anyway. What do you guys think? I just You figure out in your mind? Sort of, yes. That's amazing. What do you guys have? Are you guys talking about it? You're being awfully quiet. Oh, right. <laughs> Telepathy, good. It's always great. <laughs> You guys, you, guys, you guys talking it through? Well, we're doing the same thing. So. Well, check in on him. Make sure he's doing okay. Give him a little pat on the back. Next one. Hmm? 55. Oh, you guys found X and Y. What'd you get? good. How'd you fail? I don't know. Let's see what you have. What happened? So you set these equal to each other, okay. So you subtract them. Now what, I think maybe here is where we're, yeah. it's already, it's subtracting 15, so what should you do? Should add. Inverse operations, right. Crazy. Let, how, what are you doing? 
Oh, you I already did the. Uh, I was oh, you got the X. Yep. That's a good <laughs> idea. With my pistol, I am right underpowered at least. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna yeah, go through this one. I did two Y. What? What did you get for X? Okay, I did something wrong. I don't know. I'll do that again. What did you get? Did you set up? Oh, you know what? That's, yeah. cool. That's not a two. No, hold on. That's a seven. Oh, it's a seven. I can't read can't my read own handwriting. Can't read your handwriting. Abigail again? That's the word. I don't know. I think it probably it was a seven. You just added like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that I forgot about that. I, I don't know how I did that. I don't know why. What? I started watching Red vs. Blue again. What did you get? What did you get for X1? I think I know what you did with It's so intense now, they use like the animation. Yes, sir. The answer is it. You're prepared to go to the authorities with this vital detention. No steps are going back the trolls. I'm not going to personally combat them, no. Let's see. What? Think about it. Yeah. I have all the rules. So, <laughs> so it's uh, this is going to. I guess I win, <laughs> or I lose. Oh. So what'd you get? So you got X. Four. What'd you get? What'd you get four. Four. Y. That's awesome. I mean, you're allowed to use like the back side of the paper. <laughs> I believe in the backside of the paper. It's weird. It was weird. I believe in the backside of the paper like, rules. Why is this all weird? It's a lie. No, because these. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Oh, no, no, no. We're done with this. Let's cross out. But then you still add this. So, oh, it's up there. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. You guys confuse me, man, because you guys go down the bottom of the page and back up the side. Oh, yeah. Oh. So Never mind. Instead of like going to the next, <laughs> the, I was gonna say, wait, would it be roll. feet squared? Then I realized like, we were just doing a perimeter. Why, but I can't see your final answer. Where's your final answer? So, <laughs> now, perimeter, let's take a look at this. Did you plug this back in? Hmm? Yeah, now you have to plug it in. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> so, the X and perimeter, the X and Y, and you big sign. So, I see what you did. Yeah, seven seven you did double the X and double the Y. So, it's all like, we were at a buffet and it's all like, you know what this buffet means? It's more it's sand. <laughs> what does it need? <laughs> we're just like, more sand. More sand. We're surrounded by <laughs> sand. We're at a buffet. <laughs> hey guys, look what I found. Whoa. Whoa. Goodness gracious. All right, so. Let's finish this out, this think about a problem. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> like my son. Hmm. <laughs> Who got it? Who got it? Yeah, going around the room looked like everyone was good. Adit so. Hadid, so. you got it? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> you did get it? You just don't want to say? Oh, okay, all right. We respect that. All right, yeah. <laughs> Aaron, what'd you get for this putt? Uh, look, we got 530 feet. 530 Wait, you want to feet. This? Heck yes. Oh, they have to find some winners. Look like pretty much every pair got that. So no more tweets. times. To me. Did you guys get that? Yes. No, we did. Everyone got that? Yes? Nod your heads for yes. Shake your heads for no. Who would be the proper authorities for a troll outbreak? Yes. You would? <laughs> no, who would? Trapezoids. The trapezoids. Yeah. The trap the trolls. Oh, the trapezoid. Yeah, I remember we had to get the trapezoids out there. All right. Watch this. Oh, check that out. You guys ready for the next one? Yes. Boom. Look at that. Oh, man. It's the other now, conjecture. if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite angles are congruent. Okay. Now, if you remember back, I told you to write down those conjectures so you can access them later. If I remember right, if my memory serves me, you guys were able to come up with that from your picture. Well, I guess it wasn't a picture. Your cutout of the parallelogram. Thanks. It's your turn now. Yes. I know. Now you and you sure. will, well, I'll say the drawings aren't the scale, so my little weird drawing 
won't throw you off. This might throw you off, though. Okay. For this, we're going to say, hey, we know that this guy right here is a parallelogram, A, B, C, D. Okay, so we're good to go on that. And then I want you to really find X. I'm going to give you a little, a little while to do that. Let's say a minute. Go. Ready, go. Okay, now as you're doing this, talk with your partner. Make sure they're on the right track. Are you on the right track? Make sure you make your thinking visible to them. Explain what your thought process is. Yes, ma'am. Okay, check them. See if they're making any silly mistakes. <laughs> Are you? Are you making silly so mistakes? So. You hope so. Uh, you guys are full of surprises. <laughs> bad at subtraction. I your first grade teacher. You're bad at subtraction. Bad at subtraction. Yes. Even if it's like tiny numbers. Yeah. Is it? What's five minus three? That's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. What's five minus? Oh, it's kind of hidden. So I don't want you yeah, it is hidden. Yeah. What's five minus five? Now make sure you're talking with. Yeah. Aaron, make sure his is good to go. What do you guys have? Really? Why do you keep using five? Are you joking? Do you have something against five? No. I like five. No, that's good, guys. It's not hard for your Alright, make sure you keep uh, that for as well. Minus five. Still there. It's good. Um, Right. How goes it? How you're goes right. it over here? Maybe you're right. some issues. What's happening? I'll right take that as a seven. Um, right. um, the issue is that these days going. Now here's here's the thing. Yeah, so you, you need have this. You need so add if thing. you have one axe and you have another axe and we add those two together, what's actually that's two axes? Right. Like if I had one apple and so another you apple, I have two that, apples. That you need to add, add fifty to one thirty-five. Right. Hmm? You did? No, wait, no, I need to subtract. Sorry, it's a. Uh, it's not negative. It becomes a negative when you no, transition. It's serious. He's like, it says right there. It's not negative. Yeah, yeah. you work. You wrote this part down wrong. So, so then you need to make 120. Excellent work, Sam. Yes. Excellent. Okay. I'm stealing our parallelograms. Oh well. <coughs> I'm stealing your parallelogram. No <laughs> more is. Now we found <coughs> x, so someone take me through the first step here. What did they do? Bobby, what was your first step? Um, I did 135 minus x is equal to x plus 15. That looks great to me. Thank you. Any questions so far on this guy? Anybody do the next step? Oh. Sam did. Okay, yeah, what did you get? I, um, I took the 15 and subtracted it. Oh, okay. You subtracted 15 from both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, those cancel. So what are we left with on this side of our equation? 120. 120 minus, minus x, x equals, equals x. x. Okay. Uh, what's next? Anybody? Maybe on this side of the room? Nate. Add x to both sides. You added x. Okay, which x? This x? You just, yeah. So that cancels out the negative x. Okay. And then so you have 2x on the other out. side. Great. Excellent work. What are we left with over here? 2x. 1x plus 1x is 2x. All right, what's our uh, next step here? Eric, what are you thinking? Divide by 2. Glorious. Glorious. Absolutely. I'm very proud of you. Glorious time. Fantastic. And then x is? 60. 60. Absolutely. Great. Okay. Who got 60 on this? Everyone but Jared. <laughs> All right. Now. Think about this. What if I asked you to actually find the angle? What would you do? No, plug it in. Plug, plug it in. in. All, right. All right, good. Well, you guys are thinking the good things. Okay, so we would plug in. We would get 60 75. plus 15. So what would this angle be? 75. 75. 75. Okay. So it would be a rate. Fantastic. 75. Okay, and then we would know that this is 75 as well. Questions? Questions? All right. I have your special... Special gift right here. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Wolfie Wolferton's. <laughs> Good one. Wolfie Wolferton's backyard is shaped like a parallelogram. 
Okay. Unfortunately, hey, the sprinkler head in corner A is broken. His neighbor Ethan, here's Ethan again. <laughs> Ethan lives next door to him. He's given him a sprinkler head that sprays at 121 degree angle. Find the measure of the angle in corner A in Mr. Wolferton's backyard and see if Ethan's generous gift will fix the problems. Okay? And then we have this little uh, add-on here. It says the sprinkler spray must stay in the yard. They want to you know, spray, <laughs> spray Mr. Wolferton's, <laughs> Wolferton's back porch. That would be awkward, especially with guests. <laughs> They're getting sprayed. Okay? So, I want you to think about what you've done so far, what I've done, and what you've done as far as finding these angle measures. And you're gonna, really going to have to find that angle measure and then see what you think. See what you think about the gift. What? Okay, make sure you're talking with each other. Okay. Express your thinking to each other. Don't be afraid to make a mistake on this. Your partner will be able to bounce the ideas off and you'll be able to fix it early. You already got the eggs. Well, I guess we'll see. Well, you found the X. Does that help you decide if Ethan's gift is great or not? No. I don't know if just knowing the X is going to help you, though. You're going to have to go a little bit deeper. <laughs> it's gonna spray what? So you know, Wolfie Wolferton always wears earth tones, as we like to point That's out. That's true. Okay. Does he? So he won't be no, this white. is a made-up person. This is not anybody. Oh, you not know, based off of anybody. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, Wolfie Wolferton reminds me of my English teacher, who is always wearing earth tones. No, absolutely. Not. Any connections to Sydney? Yeah. Yeah. So you got what? Uh, where's your? Oh, so you did it up here? That's all. Yeah, I did it here, so and I put the answer there. You're killing me with the organization here. Sorry, I like to do extra work, so I put no, my work into puzzles. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm just that good of a student. <laughs> so you got this. Mm -hmm. So you think that's the uh, corner A? Yes, sir. All right. What did you get? You just have the X? Oh, no, you have it over here. Like, shoot outside the... I'm surprised you didn't draw a picture of Wolferton. I should draw a picture of Wolferton's backyard. I already drew a picture of Wolferton's backyard. Wait, no, I didn't. Never mind. You have other paper, don't you? Oh, yeah, but I don't want to waste that. Of course. Why does Ethan have a sprinkler? How are you doing? Good, you're good so far. It's Hugh and Quincy. Hugh and Quincy. Quincy the quadrilateral. Hugh and Quincy. Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? Gosh, I'm just the quadrilateral. What the hell? He goes good. What does Mr. Wolferton's beard look like? Uh, he, he's a made-up person, so you can make up any beard. It's like Mr. Yeah. Schneider's. Wolfie yeah. Wolferton. What'd you guys get? Barbecue Jim. That's Wolfie Wolferton. So did you compare that with Ethan's, the angle measure on Ethan's I shall draw. Yes. So what was your decision on Gibbs gonna spray everywhere and embarrass the neighbors. I know. Which is probably a gift. It's like a feral cat. That's my interpretation. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Unexpected. I think this is okay. Wolfie Wolferton. Well, if you think about the gifts that Ethan would give. Yeah, it probably yeah. would not work. Yeah. Yeah. It's about his speed. Not that one. Not Ethan is based on his uh, song. You know oh, no. This Ethan. You don't know Ethan. Yeah, yeah I have no idea. Yeah, Absolutely I don't not. know this Who's kid. Ethan? I should have put that on there. These are all made up characters. <laughs> Dis disclaimer. Any similarities are purely coincidental. coincidental. Thank you. Or quick. All right, what do we get? What do we get in here? It's right here. Oh, you have yours? Now, yeah, but did you compare it to Ethan's gift? Yes, and it would not stay in. It would not? It's would not, not good? It would spray the neighbors? Mm -hmm. Or spray his guests? see the quadrilateral came up with this one. Just take it up. All right, so how's it going? Oh, how do you know what I mean? It's going to shoot every yard. Okay, now, one thing I'll point out right here, 24 divided by 2. How are you? That's all right. You're all right. It's okay, that looks good. 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 Now, unfortunately, we are uh, almost at the end of our little adventure. 
I know. After we get Wolferton's problem. So we'll be done. When it's too late. We will be done. No. The second we get out, I'm going to be on my computer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You should say that. Okay. All right, so what do we think? You really had to take what you got for the corner A and really compare it against Ethan's gift. What do we figure out? Thank Who you. wants to raise their hand and tell me? Oh. Is anybody not gone today? I think everyone's good. Sam. Let's let you have this last one. Uh, Ethan's gift does not work. It Ethan's is. gift? It doesn't work. Why? Because it, shoot, it shoots at 121 degrees, and that corner is 110. It would go over it. Yes. That is so, bad. Not a very good gift from Mr. Wolferton. It's a bad gift. But he could sell it and buy one that works. Oh, right. that's a great idea. Way to think out straight to parallel. You should tell Mr. Wolferton after this. Yeah. You don't know anybody named Mr. Yeah, he doesn't exist. <laughs> All right, guys. What do you think? All right, we're going to close it out. Let's see if this works. There we are. Think we're going to close it out right here. You're going to write a short paragraph into your notes summarizing the three properties of parallelograms that you know. Okay, so think about definitions and two theorems that we've talked about. So you should know three properties of these parallelograms. Okay, and then on the back end of that, take a look. A brief look ahead, you might even need to draw a parallelogram. Look ahead and try to make a prediction on two other properties that we're going to talk about of parallelograms. And we have this little clue. Always look for the little clues. Look at consecutive angles. Okay, that means angles that are next to each other, like F and E on this problem right here, consecutive angles. Boom and boom. And then look at the diagonals. Okay. And remember, diagonals are, we've talked about them before. Diagonals are like FH is a diagonal. Okay. Let's see what you think about that. Go ahead, ready, go. And let me give you some practice. Of a paragraph and more like two sentences, is that okay? You know what? Last time I took English, two sentences is a paragraph. It is? Well, I remember when I took English, it was a long time ago, so maybe it changed. Maybe the rules yeah, changed. The energy I don't issues, know. Yeah. The early 90s is a weird time, so I don't know if they changed the English rules or not. That's good. That looks good. Now it's two sentences. Remember, did you take a look? Did you do your little prediction? Right. Oh, no. Prediction. Yes. They will because combined. What'd you get? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Let me see what you're writing. Okay, good. That's a good start. It's a good start. Oh, look at yours. Let me see what you have. Good. Looks good. Oh man, let me, see. let me check yours out. Did you get anything for the look? Okay. Good. Now make sure that's in your notes because next time we're going to take a look at that prediction piece. 
the next time we meet. We're going to take a look at your predictions are right or not. It's okay if they're not. We'll take a look and see what you guys come up with. Okay? All right, great job, guys.